And finally, all right, we'll close out with this one. And I don't know if I, I don't know what the right answer to this would be, but I saw it on on Reddit CFB, and I thought it was a very interesting question. Uh, what would have changed if Kansas had won the 2007 national championship? Now, obviously, there was a so lot. So you asked me this. Yeah. I need you to tell me what needed to happen to get them. Because I don't That's think what I was they were, say. at one point in time, they were ranked number one in the country, but I don't think they were ever really in danger of winning the national title. Like, Mississippi State was ranked number one in the country for a short period of time, too. You know? Uh, no, well, like, here, it, Kansas, eh. Kansas was number one in the country in the last weekend of the regular season, and they lost to number four, Missouri. Uh, 36 to 28, which knocked them out of the Big 12 championship game. They would have gone and played against Oklahoma. But this was a fantastic Kansas team back in 2007 yep. with Mark Mangino, all that. They ended up, uh, they won the Orange Bowl. They were, you know, they were awesome. Like, just absolutely awesome. If, it, you know, that was the year that LSU had two losses and made it to the national championship game against Ohio State. Undefeated in the won. regular season. <laughs> well, undefeated in regulation. Yeah. In regulation, yeah. <laughs> But uh, but Kansas, you know, say they end up beating Missouri, they would still have to go to the Big 12 title and play against Oklahoma, who already had two losses that year, including a loss to Kansas. So, you know, that's, uh, that's part of it there. But, you know, if, if they had gotten that win over Missouri and then beat Oklahoma again, then, you know, at, at that point, you start questioning, all right, one, does Mark Mangino still get fired for all the stuff that went on, or do they maybe try and hide that a little better? Um, because I think at, at the point that Mark Mangino got fired a, a few years later, like the program had dropped back off. If you win a national championship, do you think that Kansas drops back off, or is that something that you know maybe hangs, hangs up a little longer, you get a few more recruits because of that? You know, what, what could change? Would, would maybe the Big 12 have not split? Right? And like maybe Nebraska doesn't leave. Maybe all these other things that went on. Maybe all of that stuff ends up staying the same way it is. And then Oklahoma and Texas never end up leaving for the SEC. Maybe you get more yeah, of a team. I don't deal. think any of that happens. I don't think any of that happens. I think if, if by happenstance, Kansas beats Missouri, and then if they beat Oklahoma, and then if they beat LSU in New Orleans. In the Sugar Bowl, well, it would have been it would have been Ohio State, but yeah, was that not the year that LSU won the title? But uh, but Ohio State was ranked number one, so it was no, it was a BCS year. Yeah, but, yeah, I know that. But wasn't this the year we played Oklahoma? No, 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 no. That Oklahoma was two thousand. No, we played Oklahoma like two thousand. Yeah, this yeah, this was Ohio play, State oh, in two thousand seven. That's right. It was the Ohio State. I, I got it confused. Okay. No, it's um, all good. Yeah, it would have been Ohio State. Even if, so, if they do all that, nothing that. They okay. So they win a national title. It's amazing for Kansas. They might get a little bump in recruiting here or there, but a couple of years later, they're still going back. They're still starting to spiral back down. Yeah, I I kind of agree with you actually because it, when you look at we've seen plenty of teams that win a national title and then just yeah, fall apart. back. Yeah. Tigers just yeah. just did that. Uh, just Auburn did, they, Auburn did they're it. They're lower. They lower. No, what LSU just did, they won a national title, and then two years later, DFL in the SEC West. Uh, Auburn did the Vanderbilt exact same thing. Vanderbilt was the thing. only team behind them. Where, but, was Auburn that bad? No, it, it, two years after Auburn's national championship, they were 0-8 in the SEC. Okay, all right, so we at yeah. least won an SEC game. And then Chizik got fired right after. So Ed, Ed Orgeron yeah. basically did exactly what Gene Chizik did, but uh, – but LSU was still like competitive, like the, <laughs> Auburn. Auburn no, we was not competitive. Com That's so. right. We were competitive in a lot of games. We just got beat. Yeah, um, but no, but no. So, so the idea of that just doesn't move the needle for me. They, they still would have been Kansas. They still would have. They, they might not ever fall to the depth that they are today. Okay, Mangino might not get might doesn't get fired that day for that thing, but at, at some point in time, it's coming to an end. When we saw, I mean, we've seen a lot of teams that have won national titles that, I mean, Colorado won one. They split uh, a national title back in, what, 1990? Or no, whenever it was. Georgia Tech won a national title. Like, we've seen teams win national titles and then fall away fairly quickly. So, just winning a national title for Kansas back in 07, 
I don't think that stops what they ended up becoming. And I don't think it necessarily yeah. makes their leadership more competent just because they got a title one season, right? Nope. Nope. At worst case scenario, it gives you buyer's remorse. It gives you false uh, uh, preachers. It makes yeah. you think you're better than you really are. Thanks for listening to the Winning Cures Everything podcast. The website is winningcureseverything.com. And if you want to connect with us, we're on Twitter at GaryWCE, at ChrisBGiannini, at Winning Cures, or you can email us, Gary at winningcureseverything.com or Chris at winningcureseverything.com. Subscribe everywhere you need to subscribe, and we'll see you soon.